Hello, Alyssa Freeman here, Creative Life Coach, and welcome to Barefoot Conversations. Today we're going to be talking a lot about dreams and how we can utilize our dream states to problem solve and to really build our creativity. I have today with me Hannah Lindman. She's a Finnish dance student. Welcome, Hannah. Hey, thank you, Alyssa, mm -hmm. for having me. It's nice to be here. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about your, your dance life. When did you first decide that you wanted to dance? I started dancing a little bit old, older than usually people start. I was about 12. I have gone into classes and I spent one year in dance school and it's a big part of my life. For me it's a good way for my self-expression because I don't have that much patience just to sit and practice for example my piano lessons i played piano a few years but um i didn't have patience to practice all because i had to stand still and uh yeah so dancing i move all the time and the teacher teach me things but uh she's or he's moving i'm moving so it's a good way Today we're talking about dreams and that beautiful yeah. dream state and how we can utilize dreams as a resource for problem solving. So how have you used dreams with, in your life and dance particularly? When you are staring yourself from the mirror, like, uh, for me at least, it's pretty hard to start. Usually if I start to do something, I have to be back into the mirror and I think it's really common with dancers. Anyway and um, I had some troubles and when I went to bed at night I closed my eyes just relaxed and the things started to come to my head I'm like all right this like I had the music there I had the steps there I had to write it down if I didn't write it down the next morning when I woke up it was like oh, I had such a good idea last night but what was it and uh, little by little it started to come together not all from the dreams, but it helped a lot. Do you use dreaming anywhere else in your life? If I need to figure out something, I lay down and try to empty my mind because otherwise it runs and runs and <laughs> runs too fast. <laughs> and in that weird kind of phase before sleeping good, it usually comes or sometimes it comes. Sometimes not and it's alright, but sometimes it helps. Just the thing, what I want where I'm going with this mm. thing, whatever is happening in my life. So we can use it anywhere, really, yeah. any area of our life, yeah, regardless of, of, of what our profession is or what our hobbies are yeah. or whatever else. Yeah. The other day uh, someone asked me a tricky question and I, I knew the answer but I didn't know how to quite express it and put mm. it into words and I just said just, just a moment please and I went and lay down on my couch for 30 minutes and I was in that beautiful state where I could still hear some sounds around me yeah. but I, yeah, I was half kind of dreaming and only 30 minutes later I sat back up and I was able to answer the question really clearly and just know that it was the it was it was a great way way of using it. Mm. Um, the other things that I do is, is that if I want to exp do anything in my business life or in in my creative life, I just need to focus on how how I can resolve that while I'm starting mm. to go into that sleep state. And it's and in the morning I've got the answer. It's yeah. really clear. Or it comes to me. It's like oh, I'm meant to do this now. Yeah. This feels right to go here or to do this. Or this is how I can resolve that problem it all comes in the dreams and it's a really important resource that we yeah. can all use so what I'd like to do is to offer the people out there an opportunity especially people who haven't used this resource before of how they could tap into that to help them in their lives yeah I think it's a good idea so so you were you know we just both of us mentioned that we're in that kind of zone that's mm. not quite deep sleep no you sort of half conscious mm. Put the question to yourself as you're going into that state. Doesn't you don't need to be tired, and it doesn't need to be night time. It can be in the middle of the day, any time that you like. In fact, I find that it's really good as closest to when I'm thinking of the problem. I'm going to that beautiful twilight space, thinking of how can I resolve this problem. 
I'm, I'm not necessarily thinking of the problem. I'm thinking mm. of how to resolve yeah. it. It's, it's actually different, isn't it? Yeah. You can actually program your mind to remember mm. your dreams. So you can actually, as you're going to sleep, you're starting to go to your sleep, you start to say things to yourself like, I'll remember my dreams. I'll remember my dreams when I wake up. And make sure you've got a notebook and a pen like you did with mm. your with your choreography, yeah. have that by the bed so you can, soon as you wake up, you can actually just write those key things down. You don't don't need to write the whole story down, no, no. do you? Just those key points because yeah. they'll trigger it. And you'll yeah. go, oh, that's right, it's like this. Now, some people don't dream in pictures. Some mm -hmm. people dream in feelings. And that's just as good as well because the resolution can still come in feelings as well. Mm -hmm. You can just get a sense of it, a sense of the resolution. You don't necessarily need to see the pictures. Now there's some great techniques for people to try anyway. They can right, start yeah. exper experimenting with their dream states. Yeah. And every one of us have access to it because we all, we all daydream and we all dream mm. and we all sleep. Yeah. Thank you very much, Hannah, for coming and sitting in the garden with me Thank and you. joining me in barefoot conversations. Thank you. And hopefully we've helped you guys out there to utilize your dreams more effectively in your problem solving and in your creative endeavors. So enjoy, enjoy going forth and dreaming, daydreaming and enjoying that beautiful twilight zone and expressing your true creativity. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.